Okay, so the new MacBook Air with M4 is in my opinion, one of the best MacBooks you can get in 2025. I believe this is the best MacBook for most people. Many are actually not realizing what you're getting for this new price point. So to give some more context, the MacBook Air with M4 now starts at 999. That's for the 13 inch model and the 15 inch model starts at 1199. So that's a $100 discount on the previous generation. But there are actually some really important things you should know about this new MacBook Air before deciding whether you should buy it, yes or no. For starters, what are you getting inside the box? Obviously, you get your new MacBook Air, a 13 or 15 inch model. We now have this new sky blue finish, which looks extremely subtle and reminds me a little bit of the iPhone 13 Pro that we had in this subtle blue finish as well. A nice addition, not something extremely special in my opinion. Next we get a braided charging cable matching the color of your MacBook. Always happy with that. Hope that will come to the iPhone one day. And we get a USB-C power adapter. And there's something interesting about this power adapter which I will cover later on. And then if we have a closer look at the ports we can actually see that we have two USB-C ports or Thunderbolt 4 ports together with the MagSafe 3 a charging port. And on the other side we get a 3.5mm millimeters headphone jack. Pretty standard, pretty simple and clean I think enough ports for the average user. Next up what's also new is that we now have a 12 megapixel center stage camera, a nice addition. Center stage means that you have the possibility to move around, walk around and the camera then will follow you and with that we also get desk queue support and desk queue allows you to use your iPhone at the same time as your FaceTime camera and then you can have a shot of the the desk in front of you maybe for demonstration purposes also a nice feature but not something that like groundbreaking but what is groundbreaking in my opinion is that you now get 16 gigabytes of unified memory or ram this has been upgraded from 8 gigabytes on the previous generation and this is for the base model this has largely to do with support for apple intelligence we now also get support for two external displays with the macbook open so you basically have a setup of three displays and we get the m4 chip in different configurations you can get it with a 10 core cpu and 8 core gpu for the base model and this can be increased to 10 core gpu as well a lot of nice little upgrades and these are both for the 13 and 15 inch macbook air the main differences between these models is one you get a bigger display on the 15 inch model obviously the battery life is a little bit better and the base model starts with a 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU. But besides that, they both have the M4 chip and they start with 256 gigabytes of SSD. And that actually brings me to the recommendation of the MacBook Air, I think is best for most of you. And that is the 13 inch MacBook Air, not with 256 gigabytes of storage, but with 512. And if you get it with 512, 12 gigabytes there are actually some hidden things that automatically get upgraded for you just by spending 200 dollars more so you get the 13 inch model for not 9.99 but 11.99 us dollars and what this will bring you is one you will get the 10 core gpu option immediately so you get two more gpu cores and secondly is that you will not get the 30 watt but the 35 watt dual power adapter free also and as I mentioned, 512 gigabytes of SSD instead of the 256. And I think this device is capable to do so much. If you're just doing daily tasks like web browsing, answering emails, watching content, then this device is plenty powerful with M4. M4 is around 20 to 25% faster than M3. But even if you want to do some more CPU intensive or GPU intensive tasks, M4 is plenty capable of providing that for you. If you're doing some video editing, graphic design, and even gaming, this MacBook Air can offer you that. I've had a demonstration of Cyberpunk uh, and it was running so smooth at 60 frames per second. I think M4 or Apple Silicon in general is extremely power efficient and it's capable of providing some really nice performance and at the same time give you enough battery life. Expect around 18 hours of video playback. 
And then the main question also is uh, who should upgrade to the new M4 MacBook Air? First of all, if you're coming from an Intel device, even a MacBook Pro Intel model, then upgrading to a MacBook Air with M4 is highly recommended. I think it's going to be a night and day difference. Also, if you're on an M1 MacBook Air and you feel that your workflow is being limited a little bit with M1, or maybe you don't have enough storage, you went for the 256 gigabyte option then the M4 MacBook Air, the 13 inch model with 512 gigabytes is really a good deal right now. Again, taking into account this $100 discount. That's basically my view on the new MacBook Air with M4. I think this is one of the best Macs you can get right now in 2025. It offers tremendous value. And again, I recommend you to get the 512 gigabytes 13 inch model. It includes the 10 core GPU upgrade for free as well as a 35 watt dual USB-C power adapter. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, like this video, and see you in the next one. Peace.